Hey everybody, welcome to this Xbox Life episode 291, Advanced Warfare. I am Mark, a.k. Wingman709, and with me this week is my good buddy, Bron. Hello, hello, BJ Swick 33 And, uh... And also with us this week is the Darth Lord. <laughs> yes. Uh, we get special guest Darth Vader, being that today is Star Wars Day. Is that isn't that right, Bron? Yes, it is. So at least for a couple more hours. May, may the fourth be with you. Yes. <laughs> I guess that's the that's the saying today. But uh, welcome. And uh, wow, I can't say I gotta say I I kind of I kind of dig the new uh, layout. Uh, this is pretty snazzy. I almost feel important. Yes, yes. It was a good idea. I like your ideas. <laughs> well, it wasn't my idea. <laughs> it was all <laughs> you, man. So, uh, Brun uh, approached me and said, hey, why don't we do this? And I was like, hey, that's awesome. So, uh, Brun, and thanks to some of his buddies, uh, we got this nice little cool layout we're going to run with this week. So, um, be sure to let us know what you guys think of it. Hopefully, you guys will like it. Um, so we're going to go ahead, I guess, we'll just jump into what we've been playing this week. But, of course, first, don't forget, oh, everything's all, I got to, don't forget to be sure to do all your shopping at Amazon.com. And uh, using our affiliate link, of course, so you can go to the sexboxlife.com forward slash Amazon or go to our website and just click the link there on the right. And it will take you to the appropriate store for your region. So that's really kind of cool. So, uh. Ro uh, Rob, Bron. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what did you play this week? Well, um, I oh oh real quick. Um, I believe it's Jesus walks a lot. He sent me a code, a seven day code for Xbox Live, so I could copy down my stuff, which I was really happy to do. And and because um, you know last week I told you I was like, hey, you know I expired. I'm on silver booted up my Xbox, couldn't get to any of my cloud saves. They, like, prevent you from doing anything. Um, and you mentioned, well, I got, like, a day code or a two-day code, and, and you know, he ended up giving me a seven-day code, which was super awesome. Um, put it in, and, you know, the cloud save part says move or copy only. So the seven, the trial, I don't think gives you, like, full gold, obviously. Um, but I could at least copy or move. So I actually messaged Xbox and said, hey, you know, I think this move or copy for silver people who ha have who had gold at one time, y you know, this should be available to silver people is kind of what I put in there. It's like, you know, you shouldn't have to have a trial in there to allow you to copy or move from your cloud saves uh, only. And they messaged me, they're like, oh, no, that's already available. And I'm just sitting there thinking, I'm like, no. No, it's not, because I couldn't get to any of them when I was silver. The only time I could get to them is when I could do this trial. So now I'm going to wait for my silver to expire to see what it says after that. But I'm pretty sure it's, it's not for silver people, so or non-gold, I should say. Um, but uh, that's you the first thing. You no get no love. <laughs> yes. So I really do appreciate it. It's great. Um, you know, I'm going to have to find a way to, you know, repay him, pay him back. So. Um, that's that. Uh, so I did when I was on my Xbox. I wanted to play that. Uh, what was the game free uh, arcade game last month? Oh, oh, oh something oh. light. Something. I want to say daylight, but it's Deadlight? not daylight. Deadlight. Deadlight. Thank you. I was going to play it. Got sidetracked to playing some Trials Evolution because I was tired of seeing all the Trials people. You know, people playing Trials on the Xbox One. So I went yeah. back and started playing some of mine. Um, because I've been playing it like crazy on my iPhone as well. So I played some Trials Evolution. Uh, played some uh, Papers, Please. If anybody knows what that is, uh, Warframe and Civ Five. So, um, that's pretty much what I've played this week. Cool. Well, I was out of town all week, so I got very little gaming in. But I did play some gaming yesterday. Um, I did try a little Peggle Two. Um, and I did play a little bit of Tomb Raider with uh, my buddy Democulus. And last night, I wanted to play Titanfall. So I put the call out, and I, yep. I said, Hey, guys, let's. Uh, anybody want to play some Titanfall? I'm, I'm back. I'm ready to play. Now, I was, when we started the night, I was at level 49. Um, I was at Gen 3, level 49. And I 
the only re uh, <coughs> excuse me the only regen requirements I had was with my Titan plasma railgun was to kill another Titan. And it's been a big challenge, been one that's been a real pain in my side, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I had completed 29 of the 50 that's required. So I needed 21 more. Um, and I've been averaging maybe two any night that I sit down and play, I might get two. It's been oh, real wow. tough to get kills with that railgun. Mm -hmm. So we sat down and we played last night. The very first match, I got four. Mm. kills with that thing the next match i got three more the next match i got two more i was like in three matches i had nine yeah, nice. and i'm like this is amazing i mean i was on fire i was i was running 10 and 0 12 and 2 i mean i wasn't dying i was obliterating people i've ne i mean I, I even grabbed screenshots of these things i was going to try to get some video last night of of that and, and throw it in and i don't have any community video today i'm sorry i've been out of town so i, I was lucky to get the throw show together thrown together this weekend um but it it was I, I was on fire man i couldn't believe it it was like the best titanfall matches i've ever had um by the end of the night which was you know, not really late. I had completed that challenge. I ended up getting 21 plasma rail Titan kills last night with that with that weapon. I, I'm, it's, it's insane. It took me 49 <laughs> levels just to get 29, and then I did 21 last night. Nice. I was like, that was mind blowing. I couldn't. I was so excited. I did get it done. I'm now a Gen 4 pilot. Um, wanted to get back on. I'll probably play a little bit after our show tonight. I was so excited. It was like the best gaming ever. It was awesome. <laughs> so yeah. I was so happy. But I got that done, and I'm on to the next one, which I hear is probably going to be worse. It involves a sniper rifle, and I'm <laughs> it's like, no. But, well, I'm moving on. I'm Gen 4, so we'll see where it goes from there. But Thanks. awesome gaming. Thanks to the guys uh, that I played with last night. Um, I oh boy, here we go. I played <laughs> with uh, Silos, Omar, and uh, Ross NYC, and also Sky Kiddo. Um, so thank you guys for uh, helping me out. It was some great gaming. But that is all I played this week. So. I guess we can jump on in over to the topics then, unless you got anything else, uh, Bron? No. Mr. Vader, do you have anything? No? Nothing? You're <laughs> not my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, and I apologize if I call you Rob. <laughs> That's all right. Please bear with me. I'm not used yeah. to him not being here. Yeah. You know, and him and I have been doing this so long now, and I'm getting mm -hmm. used to you being back. So am I doing the first one? Uh, yep. All right, so we're going gonna, gonna to step up and take some of his stories. Xbox Originals is coming soon to a screen near you. So starting this June, we're going to have more reasons to love Xbox, and that's because Xbox Originals is coming. This is going to be premium drama, comedies, documentaries, animation, unscripted shows, and live events. These will be available only on Xbox 360, Xbox One, and other Microsoft devices. That... that Okay, we're going to come back to this, okay? So notice, this is official off the Xbox Wire. Mm -hmm. Okay, available only on Xbox 360, Xbox One, and other Microsoft devices. Every Xbox Xbox original show will offer interactive capabilities as well as unique interactive features, customized on a per-show basis, making it one-of-a-kind entertainment experience you won't find anywhere else. I call, I call a lie on that. Uh, Xbox Entertainment Studios has attracted a slew of top Hollywood talent to develop its original programming slate with names like Steven Spielberg and Ridley Scott attached to two mm -hmm. separate scripted projects based on the Halo franchise. So, two, get that people, two different projects based on the Halo franchise. So, here we've been looking forward to like getting that Halo TV series going. Bam, yeah. we got two of them coming out. So that's cool. From one from Steven Spielberg, one from Ridley Scott. That is going to be really cool to see. Yep. But that's only the beginning. Other shows in production include an unscripted series about international street soccer, which is supposed to be the very first show that they're going to release. Um, it's like a documentary on street soccer. I, 
I, we may have some more news on it later, but um, there's going to be an original drama. A, 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 I, it's like, I feel like I can't speak today. An mm-hmm. original drama about robotic servants in a dystopian world and a documentary about the search for discarded Atari games in a desert landfill, which right. they did uh, on Earth recent last weekend, as a matter of fact. So we know that they exist and they found them, so we're going to be able to watch that happen. Uh, we are developing premium original content for the Xbox community, which is an audience we are incredible, incredibly respectful of, said Nancy Tellum, president of Xbox Studios. We believe Xbox Originals should embrace the way our fans think about traditional TV. Tellum's creative vision involves year-round high-quality programs based on subject gamers care about with interactive features tailored to each show. Um, so I think, I don't think I need to read this whole thing, but that's essentially, so here's what's coming. Here's some committed projects. Halo, the television series. Uh, this is a groundbreaking original series based on the award-winning Halo franchise. Award-winning filmmaker, director, and producer Steven Spielberg will produce, will executive produce the live-action TV series created in partnership with 343 Industries and Amblin, Am, Amblin uh, Television. So that, I think, is really important. <laughs> it's live-action. So I think, think of the Forward Under Dawn. Brun, did you see Forward Under Dawn? Yes. So that's live action. We're not getting animation. It's going to be real actors. That Mm -hmm. was a fantastic show. Um, If anybody has not seen Ford Under Dawn, I recommend you buy the Blu-ray. It's well worth it. It's a fantastic movie. So we're going to see that. Um, Every Street United is an unscripted series of eight 30-minute episodes and a one-hour finale featuring legendary soccer players Thierry Henry and Edgar Davis focused on the global search for soccer's most gifted and undiscovered street stars scouted across eight countries to include United States, England, Argentina, Spain, Brazil, the Netherlands, Ghana, and South Korea. The series will culminate this July in a 4v4 street game finale in the shadow of the World Cup in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, We got another one called Bonnaroo. Xbox owners around the globe can experience the magic of the 13th annual Bonnaroo Music and Arts Festival with a live concert destination on Xbox Live Friday, June 13th through Sunday, June 15th. Um, Signal to Noise, Atari Game Over. Um, Xbox is creating a new six-film documentary series called Signal to Noise. This is a working title with two-time Academy winning, Award-winning producer Simon Chin um, and Emmy-winning producer Jonathan Chin through their multi-platform media company Lightbox. The series will expose little-known stories about how modern technology has radically altered the way we interact with our world. The first installment, Atari Game Over, which is also another working title, explores the fabled Atari mystery dubbed the Great Video Game Burial of 1983. So that's where we're going to hear see the uh, digging up of the old ET cartridges we talked about in the past. So that'll be the first one. So that that sounds like it might be an interesting. That will be an interesting series to watch. Um, I'll probably watch the soccer one as well, and definitely the Halo. But uh, we'll see where the where these goes. Um, another one called Humans is a bold new drama co-produced with UK broadcaster Channel 4, award-winning UK... Uh, you know, we don't care about all that. Um, it's going to produce the hour-long eight-episode series, which will share a premiere broadcast window on the Xbox platform and Channel 4 in the UK in 2015. So, now, notice earlier, Bron, they said <laughs> only on Xbox, Xbox 360 and Xbox platforms, right, or Microsoft platforms. And then Correct. here in this first one, we already got one that's going to debut outside of the Xbox. Okay. Yeah. It's fine. It's going to be on Channel 4 in the UK. But just remember, they said it was only going to be on Windows platforms. Now we've already got one saying, and that's not the last one. I'll tell you that. Um, so executive, let's see. Humans is an English language ad- adaptation of Svergy's television and Matador film, acclaimed Swedish series. Real Humans. Humans is set in a parallel present where the the latest must-have gadget for any busy family is a synth, a highly developed robotic servant eerily similar to its live counterpart. 